What is going on everyone, my name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at this Netis 4-in-1 Gaming Combo Kit. And yeah, let's just take a look real quick. I'm just gonna unbox this thing and just set it up. And then we're going to take a look at everything and uh, what it's all about. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So right here I got the keyboard and the mouse all set up. The headset is not in this picture because I'm using that right now to record this audio. This mouse has changing color, breathing color pattern as you can see. This color is visible in the scroll wheel on the side and on the logo on the back. It's a six button mouse. It has page forward button and a page backward button. Clicking these makes it possible to switch between pages easily without having to go to the top bar. Of course it has its left button and its right button, its scroll wheel, middle click and its DPI button. There are four different DPI settings available. Blue is 1200 DPI, pink 1600 DPI, red 2000 DPI, purple 3200 DPI. Holding down on the DPI button makes the mouse its light static that's what you can see here clicking it now changes to the respective dpi button this is probably some kind of gaming mode i'm not really sure because i can't find anything about this what i did figure out is the following the middle button on the mouse is now a play and pause button the scroll wheel controls the volume you get it Holding down on the DPI button disables this, it goes back to pulsing and then the scroll wheel and everything just works the same way as it should. Some other information, the polling rate of the mouse is 125 Hz, it has a 1.5 meter or 4.92 feet cable it's braided as well of course it's usb connection and only 150 grams or 5.2 ounces now for the keyboard i have a us international keyboard layout here it is also available in german spanish french italian and nordic it has three colors, it's a continuous LED light, so it's red, blue and green, not actually RGB. It has 12 multimedia keys. As you could see right here. It has scroll lock. Keys should be able to be pressed at least a million times. It has USB 2.0 and also a 1.5 meter cable or 4.92 feet. The keyboard has a couple of lightning options as well. Holding the FN button and pressing the scroll lock will cycle through all the options we have. This is basically just when you press it, it starts to pulse. So this is response when you are playing the game, every time you hit a button, it will light up. Then we have pulsing, which is basically, it will breathe, so to say. As you can see, we can also increase the speed by holding FN and pressing the directional buttons. Pressing it again, it will become static. With FN and the up and down keys we can change the intensity of the light going from full brightness to completely off for some reason also page up and page down do have the same purpose as the other brightness option you can also turn the lights off by holding fn down and pressing the print screen button as you can see or you can select the several lighting options by holding fn and pressing one two and three on your keyboard. One thing that I found weird is that the comma and the period are both absent on the keyboard. Instead, they are on lesser than and greater than. 
better known as these two arrows, kinda. So, what I can show you here on Google is pressing this button here, lesser than, gives us, comma, greater than, gives us a period. Now, a quick peek of the mouse mat, it's 238 by 180 millimeter, so that is 238 millimeters wide, or 9.3 inches. And 180 millimeters in length or 7 inches so the top is made out of cloth it is very soft the mouse also just works on that flawlessly it's really a great mouse pad it is very thick it has an anti-slip bottom as you can tell so basically if you're using it the mouse pads kind of stay in place as much as possible. The headset, it should have good audio according to their website. Over ear padded oval ear cups, for comfort is what they said. Softly padded headband with flexible size adjustment for maximum comfort. Well, they're not lying at there because this thing is pretty flexible. That's pretty flexible, you can tell. Highly sensitive microphone. Well, I've recorded half of this video already with this headset, so if it sounds good, then it is true. It has a 1.8 meter cable, or 5.9 inches. It only weighs 230 grams, or 8.1 ounces. Not that heavy, let's say that. So it has 3.5 millimeter connection, but it also comes with a dongle. As you can see here, an adapter. Basically... This is the regular 3.5, but if your computer still has this, which is nothing nothing weird or new, this just goes on. And then you can use the two connectors for microphone and speaker. Now, I'm personally pretty critical when it comes to the volume and everything and the speaker quality. Coming from a Razer Nari, this is probably a setback, if I am pretty honest. The speaker diameter is 40 millimeters or 1.5 inches. It says it's a 32 ohms impedance. The speaker frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. All right. And the speaker sensitivity is 108 decibels. Now let's just play our tune real quick and I'll just put the headset on the phone. That sounds like a great idea. Now you can observe this speaker quality yourself so i changed something here with the dts audio software to over ear headphone it has traditional stereo now and it's uh, set to entertainment so probably this sounds better now let's see So, what was that like? Now, honestly, I don't really think that sounds all that bad. I mean, this set is about 30 to 40 bucks. I bought it for 18 bucks. So, I couldn't say that this is really bad. This is decent enough. So, pretty much, you could say that everything in this set, despite being not that expensive, is actually great quality. I mean, for what it is, definitely. Now, what are we going to do? So, it is time to check a game out. A game or two. Um, I'm going to start off with Saints Row 2. So here we have Saints Row. So we're going to take a look at the DPI settings real quick. Blue is the lowest DPI. Pink medium. Red almost highest. Purple the highest. You can tell that that's a pretty high DPI compared to the others. 
So let's say just stick to red, which is um, decent enough. So now it's actually time for some action. Let's just go ahead and uh, clip some of these dealers. We got some Sons of Samity. And this is uh, pretty convenient, honestly. This is a pretty good uh, mouse. Also, the keyboard seems to be pretty responsive. I've seen uh, some reviews where people were talking about how the buttons are hard to press. I don't really see that being an issue at this point. I mean, it doesn't seem like the buttons are hard to press. But maybe that just depends on who's using them. So overall, the mouse is great. We're using the headset right now to record the voice. So my voice is being recorded as well as everything else with the headset. All right. That's uh, pretty good. Ow. Yeah, the mouse and keyboard for exactly this game, for instance, is pretty good, not gonna lie. As you can see here, I'm pretty conveniently aiming and shoot aiming and shooting at the ops. So with that being said, I think it's time to go to the next game. So the second and final game I'm going to play to demonstrate the keyboard and mouse is Super Hot. Super Hot's a first person shooter. And um, it's time based on some pretty cool. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Now the first thing is um, I have my DPI set up pretty well. Except for the fact that I'm kind of messing this up. In a matter of fact, really messing this up. Because I'm under attack big time. By multiple ops. So far, so good. Um, I'm gonna increase the DPI to blue, which is decreasing the DPI, I guess. Or the color actually changes each time, because this is kind of weird. I'm gonna heal. Let's see what the blue color does now. It's it's low. This is high. So the 3200 DPI. Oh. Someone get... I'm behind the corner, stupid game. So you can tell that uh, on 3200 DPI, this is actually a pretty good mouse too. Just the highest DPI is the best one to play these kind of shooter games with. However, as I am currently making this video, I'm messing up this entire gameplay. However, the point of this video isn't necessarily the gameplay, but... It sure as hell is part of it. Uh, we didn't get a new weapon. So this might or might not be an issue. How, it, how the flip is that not a kill? You got to see that this is actually a decent setup for only 35 bucks or something. Let's just go sit in the middle. You can get it for cheaper when it's on sale. It's actually a pretty convenient set. And with that being said, I'm leaving some links in the description if you would like to buy one of these then you know go ahead you're definitely good pretty good starting set at least I hope this video was helpful in any way if it was then uh, don't forget to leave a like leave a comment and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching see you later peace out